Hey guys, so now let's talk about yin and yang clothes. What do we mean by that? When we go deeper into that subject, we can see the lines better and we can understand the recommendations for the body types better just by looking at the piece of clothes. So what is yin and yang? First of all, yin is female energy and we can see that in a world everywhere. Rounded, delicate, small, wide, feminine. And then we have yang energy, male energy tall, lean, strong, vertical, angular, sharp. So all those elements we can see around us everywhere, not only the clothes. Our planet Earth has a lot of different objects. They all can have yin energy and yang energy or combination of those. One piece of clothes can have several characteristics. It can be fabric, the design, how it was tailored, basically, the way it was tailored, the details, and the pattern, all that matters. So what is yin fabrics? All the soft fabrics we can call yin fabrics. Lightweight, transparent, flowing. And on contrary, there can be yang fabrics. Fabrics that are stiff, they keep its shape, that are very precise, very strong looking. And we're not talking about colors. We're only talking about the texture and how it looks. You know, the yang pieces always look heavier and stronger and sharper. And the yin pieces, they look transparent, very lightweight. So weight is a very important thing. In terms of a silhouette, the silhouette can be yin and yang. Yin piece of clothes would be short, relaxed, soft, right? It can have some ruffles, it can have some draping. Those elements stand for yin, lace, lightweight things, cropped things, not very stiffly tailored. So basically relaxed, right? Relaxed shoulders, something that is going along with the body, rounded collars, different bows and stuff. So when we talk about yang clothes, it's normally stiffly tailored. Yang clothes would probably be long, long vertical line, stands for young also if it's a dress and it's very well tailored and it's pretty long so it's a very young dress crisply tailored sharply tailored sharp shoulders something that keeps its shape when it's hanging on a hanger no ruffles man tailored jackets so the trim, the details, can also be yin and yang. For example, the collar. The collar that is rounded, the collar that is hanging, draping down here. The horizontal collars maybe gathers here uh, or gathers here in the bottom. Or waist emphasis, that is all stands for yin. Yang clothes trim would be something stiff, precise, maybe very sharp collar or V-shape collar, precise and contrasted wrists let's say, maybe some leather pieces inserted in the piece, or the whole piece is connected with triangles, rectangles, squares, something sharp and precise. Patterns. Patterns can also be yin and yang. More gentle patterns like flowers, something soft, circles, water coloring, that all stands for yin patterns. Yang patterns are stronger. They are normally geometric, sharp, triangles, rectangles, squares, stripes. Stripes is a young thing. It can be vertical or it can be horizontal. But there are so much clothes nowadays in the shops and there's so much mixture of those elements. Sometimes you can't even say if the piece of clothes is yin or yang. Some sharp patterns, triangles or rectangles. It's yang part of it. But the shape is very relaxed. It doesn't have stiff shoulders. It's hanging down very, very soft. The collar is not precise. The sleeves are not precise. The whole silhouette is flowing. That's why that's good for natural body type, just because they also have that balance of yin and yang, a certain percentage of both. The clothes can also contain all that. Or something can be completely opposite. Let's say there is a blazer or a jacket that is so stiffly tailored this is young part of it but the fact that it's cropped and short let's say and it has small flowers that stands for yin part of it so let's say gamines or soft gamines they will look amazing in that type of blazer just because it keeps its shape it's angular and they have an angular bone structure but it cropped is short they are also short and it has some small rounded details it's just exactly um, how they built they have a lot of yin in their body they can have some puffiness they will look pretty cool in that jacket even better than let's say the jacket would be 100 percent yin 
it would be soft, the fabric would fall down, it wouldn't keep its shape, it would have some flowers, it would be slightly transparent. That would be too light for their bone structure. There's a different balance of yin and yang in a piece of clothes, same as in our body. So when a girl or a woman is wearing something that has pretty same balance, the combination of yin and yang, then she looks very balanced, she looks like in her own skin. Some body types look amazing when they combine different types of clothes. Let's say they combine super yang pants with super yin top, let's say, right? So that balances the weight of the clothes and that looks gorgeous on the bone structure that they have. It's just sometimes when there's like over the top, sometimes dramatic women, when they wear something super light and flowing and super feminine, but they are lean, strong, tall, straight, dry, masculine looking. They can feel that there's like they look just silly in that short flowery dress, you know? But at the same time, like a small girl, a small woman can rock this dress, you know? Seeing those elements, you can understand the clothes more and you can feel the vibe of the piece of clothes. And this is how you can make your wardrobe even smarter if you have those things and if you know your bone structure, if you know the way you're built and you kind of surround yourself with, with all those pieces. Let's say knitted, knitted cardigans, knitted sweaters, they can also look heavier or lighter. If there is a cardigan that is very stiffly made with very thick thread and it's knitted very like thickly, it is chunky and it's long and it looks big and it looks heavy. So that can look pretty young on the person. If she has some yin parts into her body or she has a lot of yin, she can still rock this cardigan by wearing something very light underneath. So that will create that contrast and it won't look that heavy anymore. Because sometimes some women can wear some stuff, they might feel like that looks too severe on them. So that's probably just because too much young on them. Probably they are softer. So I'm gonna show you now several silhouettes so you would see the examples. As far as I'm one of gamines, I have pretty straight body type and I'm angular. I have some puffiness and I'm short. Those two things stand for yin. So slightly puffy and short pieces of clothes, they look better on me than if I would wear something longer, chubbier or something super sleek. Shorter pants with open ankles, shorter cropped cardigans. I also love some contrasted pieces. High-waisted jeans also break the line and make my silhouette much lighter. So now I would like to add some drama to the outfit. I can do that on top, just because the base of my outfit is still cut into two pieces and it's color blocked. I'm not necessarily showing you the best combinations and examples. All I want to show you is the silhouettes and yin and yang combination. So don't pay much attention on my personal body type. So I'm adding that dramatic coat. First of all, it's a vertical line, it has a certain shape and it has geometric pattern that also stands for yang clothes. So if I didn't have that color block in the middle, I would look super short. I would look very grounded, too heavy and not kind of in my own skin. So sometimes I feel I can't afford some of those alien pieces, pieces that are for other body types, but it's the matter of combination. I have yin and yang clothes in my wardrobe, but I try to combine them the certain way. Also, if I didn't have that color block, I would probably want to wear some heels or some platform. So I would want to correct my proportions. But with this outfit, I can go with flat shoes. And I'm small, you know, and my legs are short. So here I look kind of normal, you know, I don't look super short. But again, if I didn't have that color block in the middle and shorter pants and high-waisted pants and that short cardigan, that would look different. Now here I just wanted to show you that these pants are pretty stiff, so the fabric is very young. But that mint color really softens it, so colors can really soften the things. But uh, we're going to talk about colors a bit later. Now I'm going to show you one very funny piece. That's the coat with some ruffles on the back. So you probably think that this coat is several sizes bigger than me. No, it's excess. So as you can see, the pattern of it is small black and white squares. So squares and contrast stands for yang, but the fact that this is very small, that stands for yin. So in this particular piece, yin and yang combine unpredictably. As far as that's long and bulky, that also stands for yang energy, but it has a belt. So when we have waist emphasis, it starts having huge gathers in my chest area and in my hips area. I kind of become that big 
hourglass that stands for yin also as you can see it has some big ruffles on the back so those details also stand for yin so that coat is definitely not for me if it was narrower probably i would be able to wear that again with some color blocks or i would edit some platform shoes probably i would look okay but the impression that i get from that particular coat is that it's for soft dramatic women soft dramatic women are tall they have that bone structure of a dramatic so they look amazing in those vertical lines and strong silhouettes i also think that naturals and flamboyant naturals would look amazing on that so this is how that looks on a taller girl thank you so much guys bye bye